tube Shea Bear 1000 here. What we're going to do today is we're working. I don't know if you can see me or not. I'm zoomed way in. We're working on the Chrysler Sebring today. What we're going to do is we're going to put this stuff in in there, and we're going to see if it helps. I think when we got it hot, that video you guys seen that we got hot. Uh, I think we got some head problems. So um, what we're going to do is put this bars leak right there. See that? We're going to try some of this. It's going to take about half this bottle for the system that we've got here. Uh, I'm at my shop where I work at. Uh, my co-workers over there he's i'm off today and he's working so anyway i hope you can hear me but i i don't work for these people they're not giving me any money you know i'm just showing you what i'm using you know nobody compensates me for anything but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting a half a bottle of this in the cooling system here get you around here where you can see Right, right there. We'll zoom you in. Okay. Right there. So we're going to start. I've already got this shaken up and ready to go. So we're going to start by pouring about half of, half of this bottle in here. And you got to do this one when the engine's cold first. So here we go I don't know if you can see that but it's like shiny silver and give it a little bit more here All right. now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this thing up I won't let it run for about 20 minutes till it gets up to operating temperature and then we're going to shut it off and let it cool down for about a half an hour but what we're going to do is we got to turn the heater on uh full blast turn the air on or the uh blower the heater blower turn it on all the way and turn the heater on all the way so it circulates through the whole system so i'm going to do that and i'm going to let it run and then i'll get back with you here in just a minute so hang tight okay guys <coughs> What you do, after you let it run, you, you shut it off, you let it cool down for 30 minutes. After that, you start it up and you run it for 15 minutes at a high idle, between 12 and 1500 RPMs. You do that for 15 minutes. We did that, everything seems to be okay so far, so I'm gonna let her take it around the block and up the road and see what's going on with it, make sure everything's cool. Hey, Aaron. Wave. Wave. Yes. That's Aaron. Say hello to yeah, YouTube. I'm making all the noise in the background this video. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's the guy I got to deal with every day. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to cut you off here. I'll let you know what happens uh, a little bit later on. So um, I'll be back with you. You guys, it'll be just a second. But for you know us, it'll be a little longer. But I'll be back in three, two, one. Whoa. All right, guys, I need to quit teleporting like that because every time I do it makes me dizzy and changes my clothes. But anyway, guys, I'm back again. Uh, it's next day. I'm in my garage, our garage at home. A uh, little update on the car. That stuff did fix the head problem. Uh, as far as I know so far, uh, no, bl no more blow-by. There's no blow-by uh, anywhere. Um, it's not running hot, uh, there's no water or any oil, however I still left the car at my shop at work because um, I did notice a little leak. Looks like it's coming between the from the transmission and the back of the engine. I'm not sure if there's a soft plug up in there. It's just a slight leak, but that could have been the problem why it overheated to begin with. I'm not sure, I still have to check that out. But as far as bars leak for the head gasket repair, so far so good. Uh, sorry about the noise yesterday. Sorry about the noise today. If you can hear that, monkey's out. 
cutting the grass. So, and I had to go out. She was running it on choke, and I don't know why, but it didn't sound good. I, I knew what it was. So anyway, another story. But so I gotta find out what that leak is. I didn't want to take the chance of driving almost an hour home and having it, you know, leak all the antifreeze I just put in out and overheating again and having the same problem again. So we just left it there. It's just a it's a minor leak and it seems like it's only leaking while it's running, you know, after it builds up pressure. So I'm not sure if there's a soft plug between the bell housing and the rear of the engine. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's not coming from up on top. So it is definitely coming out of there. So there must be a soft plug or something in the back of that, the engine leaking. Uh, I'm gonna try some bars leak, stop leak for it. Uh, if that doesn't work, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, split the uh, engine from the transmission and see what's behind that bell housing. Don't really wanna do that. But she drove it for a while yesterday up and down the road, you know, got it up to speed, 50, 60 miles an hour, drove it several miles back and forth, seemed to be, seemed to be doing fine. She said it has a little more power, so, you know, that's, that's pretty good. That's signs that, you know, it did bring some compression back. Uh, like I said, no more blow-by coming up out of where you take your oil cap off, or the 710 cap. If you guys seen that joke, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, so anyway guys, uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here, but that stuff did work. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll do the best I can to answer them. I'm still getting comments like on the timing chain tutorial on the COBOL. Just had one today talking to a gentleman. Uh, so I will, as soon as I get them, as soon as I get them comments, I will comment back and I will do the best I can to help you guys out. So I do have... I don't know if I can get it uploaded today or not, but I have a challenge I did uh, Christmas Eve at my niece's house. Uh, Monkey was there, she was two of my nieces was there. Uh, it was a waxing of the chest hair and back. So I'll get that up for you. I know it was Christmas Eve, a little older one, but I still have to uh, get that edited for you guys. I still got another one to do from my niece. Um, it's, I'm going to call it the triple threes. It's a 3 a.m. challenge, Saturday at 3 a.m. It's going to be uh, chug three beers in three minutes at 3 a.m. So that's going to be a good one. So I'm probably going to do that next weekend. We also had a comment on about the haunted doll. Someone would like for me and Monkey for the doll to sleep in between us. We are going to do that for you probably next Friday night. I'm not sure. Um, I think it'll work Saturday morning. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to try to do it next Friday night. But I'm not, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I know you're, you guys aren't going to watch several hours of just us sleeping with a doll in between us. So that's not going to be any fun. So you're probably just going to have to trust us on that. But we're going to do it. She's game with it. I'm game with it. We will do that for you. Uh, any more challenges you can think of, you know, uh, shoot them my way and we'll see if we can't do them for you. Like I said, I get bored at 3 a.m. on Saturday night, you know. Sometimes my niece, bless her heart, she's up too and, you know, we'll chit-chat back and forth on Messenger or whatnot and that's pretty cool. But uh, anyway, so, but yeah, so far the bars leak, you know, uh, head gasket fix or repair. Whatever I showed you on the box, you know, just roll it back because I can't remember that was yesterday uh, at my shop. So, well, let me see what else. Uh, so I got them two videos coming up for you. I've got, you know, you'll see this one. So I don't know why I'm going to say anything about it, but um, as soon as it warms up, we're going to we're going to do some more. We're going to do some beach videos for you guys. You know, head back over to Daytona. We're going to New Smyrna. We'll get some footage there. Um, Cedar Key, you know, over on the west side of Florida, over there at uh, the Gulf Coast, we're going to do some around there. Uh, there's a place in St. Pete, St. Petersburg, I believe it is, right below St. Petersburg. Uh, we're going to go check it out, um, see if I can get in there. Uh, like I said, I have a new drone. I do have some footage, drone footage. Um, 
Or uh, Monkey and I took it out and took it up in the air and stuff like that. I got to get that up for you. So I have some things to do. It's just getting time to do them. You know, uh, I mean, I love my job, but I work very hard. And But I love it. Wouldn't have it any other way. But I get, you know, I lift a lot of axles, heavy stuff every day. And I get tired when I, you know, it's an hour drive back. If I get off at 5, you know, I'm pretty close to 6 o'clock before I get back home at night and then by the time I shower up and, and you know make supper or sometimes she'll make supper we take turns doing it uh, by the time we eat and everything it's like you know I don't want to sit in front of the computer for half an hour editing a video and then because right now we have no internet our internet we were paying for eight and what is an MGB you know MB Gigabytes per minute, okay, or per second, what, per second, whatever. Anyway, we're we're paying for eight. We was getting less than one, so we called that quit. Now we're using her um, hotspot on her phone, and it's very slow too. So an edited video, sorry, an edited video. Let's say a ten minute edited video to upload onto YouTube takes about 90 minutes to two hours uh, crazy so I just sit there and wait on it and make sure nothing goes wrong and all that crap but you know it's fine but anyway guys cheers to you I'll get this one up for you this evening hope you see it tonight if not and you see it tomorrow have a great week if you see it tonight Good night and have a great week. But anyway, you guys, thanks for watching, man. Share these videos uh, if you would. Help us out a lot. You know, give us some thumbs up. Uh, make some suggestions. Uh, what you guys would like to see. I know a lot of you guys are into the abandoned houses. And I know uh, there, well, there are several. But like I said, it's time. For, you know, it's the time situation of us getting time to go and do those things. Because before my last job, you know, I'd work three days and have two days off. And then work two days and have three days off. Well, now I'm working five days a week every other week. And every other week I'm working six days a week. And she works five to six days a week. So it's kind of hard to do. But we'll get them. And um, we are going to start the paranormal things again. We, we, are, we have night vision cameras. We have stuff like that. We have DVR system. We got that going on. We're, we're doing that again, too. If you guys are around Florida, let me know. Comment below. If you got things going on you want us to check out, hey, we'll, we'll come and check it out for you. But that in mind, you know, please keep watching our videos. And do have a, um, several, all you subscribers are, are, are great. We do have several of you guys uh, that just go above and beyond. You watch, you, you're, you watch our, our videos every time you comment on every one of them and for you guys we give you guys a thumbs up so shout out to you guys listen guys i gotta go not rambling just want to let you know what was going on with the car and um, make sure she's not crashing the lawnmower of course if she does you know it's job security on another video and how to video so anyway guys i did try it seemed to work out all right so uh other than that i got some more things to do on the truck coming up gotta do the bumper fix the bumper from the crash and all that and some boat videos coming up this summer um, we'll be taking the, the boat out and I'll have the drone up there uh, from the boat that should be interesting hope we don't lose it <laughs> but uh, some you know start up on the engine and stuff we bought a new engine last last year I only, we only got like an hour on that engine and you know it takes like 18 hours to to uh, break it in so you know we still got we still got to get it run you know run out more and stuff but like I said we couldn't do it because of the crash you know the bumpers been and now you know, pull the boat so so anyway we'll do some break-in videos of that you know of the of the new engine I mean yeah it's a year old it's gonna be a year old but it's still new to us because it's only got a couple hours on the engine so mm, let me see what else 
think so I can think of Sunday afternoon well it's about uh, about 10 after 12 ish mm. so that being said guys I'm gonna finish my beer and my cigarette good check on her make sure the lawnmower's running good sounds all right um, see if she needs any help with anything and then I'm gonna edit this video get it up for you a the video <laughs> get the video on the air for you and um go from there and talk to you guys soon remember monkey 1000 check her out she's you know up and coming she's doing very good on her videos she's working real hard she drives real hard she edits them herself films them herself and um so she's doing pretty good never made one before until she met me and now she's she's into youtube and she loves it so i was like make a video of this make a video of that we can do a video so that's cool so keep an eye on her channel too. Please support her. Give her thumbs up. And uh, I appreciate it. She appreciates it. So Shaybear1000. Remember the myth, the man, the legend. Shaybear1000. I'm gone. Bye-bye, guys.